Hello beautiful family, Stephen here, the 21st of July in the year 2023, I hope you're alright, I'm alright, I feel like I'm getting a bit, a bit better each day, yeah I'm just getting better each day, I just had to decline a call that just came up, brother Lee's ringing me, I'll have to ring him when I get back, but I hope you're alright family, um, what was I going to say? So, if you're new to this channel, I'm a preacher of the gospel of Jesus Christ. The only way that leads to salvation for your soul, salvation for your soul, and a place in heaven. Because we all need salvation, we all need um, saving, yeah. We all need forgiveness of sin, because like the Bible says, we have all sinned, all sinned, we've all broken God's commandments. The Bible says the wages, the penalty of sin is death, death. But the free gift of God, which God wants to give everyone according to his word, give you as well if you're new, is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. I can't remember where that is, it's in the book of Acts, I think it's chapter 4. I can't remember whereabouts, but you need saving. Romans 3, 23, all, all have sinned. There's none righteous, no, not one. So, you need your sins forgiven. You need to be covered by the shed blood of Jesus on that cross. Because that's why he died on that cross, to shed his blood for the forgiveness of all our sins, according to the scriptures. And he was buried... And he rose again from the dead on the third day, according to the scriptures. And when you believe that in your heart, when you believe that in your heart, and you call upon Jesus or confess Jesus as Lord, you will be saved. No matter what you have done. Think of the most abominable things um, you, you could do. Well, you can be forgiven of it if you will, but believe that Jesus died for you on that cross. He died for all our sins. Believe it in your heart that he rose again from the dead because he's the son of God. Call upon him, confess Jesus as Lord, and you will be saved. So just thought I'd come here because it's, it's quite nice for you, for you, for you guys. Uh, I hope you're all right. Nice tiles down there. Um, anyway, so yeah, I hope you're all right. We're looking, waiting, expecting, uh, looking for our blessed hope and glorious appearing of the great God and our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Titus 2.13 So I hope you've believed the gospel, because if, you, if you've believed the gospel, you will be taken up in the rapture. Um, believe the gospel which is in 1 Corinthians 15, 3 and 4. How that Jesus died for, all right. Jesus died for all our sins. He was buried and rose again from the dead. Just believe that in your heart. Call upon Jesus and you will be saved. So we're waiting and expecting Jesus any moment. Um, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. And then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. So, I just want to address a comment somebody left in the last video saying, Stephen is retired. Stephen is not retired. No, I've just not been too well, and I'm getting better. Each day that goes past, I feel it's stronger and stronger. And um, I'm going to be going out preaching ASAP because we haven't got any time left. Whatever time we've got left is very, very short. Um, Jesus Christ is coming. And then the Great Tribulation Apocalypse will begin. And I'm just going to tell you what I know. The Great Tribulation will begin... So just imagine all these Christians and little children under the age of accountability 
suddenly vanishing from this world. Just imagine the chaos. And then they turn on those towers, the cell phone towers, they tell you it's 5G. It's more likely to be between 8 and 12G. And um, certain people who have had a certain thing, who are not marked for salvation, will change into zombies. And uh, also, there'll be an all-out war, like nuclear war. Nuclear war and uh, World War Three. So this is one reason, well, that's one reason to believe, but not only that, there's a heaven and there's a hell. Heaven, paradise, where you'll have everlasting joy upon your head. You can you imagine that? Not a single second where you're not so happy. Imagine that. Or reject the truth. Jesus Christ, who said, I am the way, the truth and the life. And you'll end up in hell, which is a place of outer darkness, where there's weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth, where people are utterly consumed with terrors. I mean, that's throughout the, the Gospels. There's little pieces and bits and pieces of hell where there's weeping and wailing. And Psalm 73, where people are utterly consumed with terrors down there. So that's another reason to believe the truth. But if you're going to do it, do it now. Don't, don't wait until tomorrow, because tomorrow might not come. Because we, we are most certainly in the season for the rapture. So I am in contact with Brother Stephen, and um, I want to go back out with him ASAP. I don't know how soon. I mean, it's Saturday tomorrow, perhaps Sunday, if we're still here, I'll go out again preaching, preaching the gospel. Um, I don't know where, but it might be just one of these seaside towns like Scarborough or Bridlington or somewhere like that. Because there'll be a lot of people so long as it ain't chucking it down, you know. So, uh, Please pray for us, family. Thank you for all you that have prayed for me, my health, because it's getting better. I feel like I'm getting stronger. Um, still got things a bit wrong with me, but I'm definitely a lot better than I was. So anyway, yes, there's gonna be a zombie apocalypse and uh, there's so much scripture to support it. So much scripture about um, I th Isaiah, Isaiah 9, I think it's 21. Every man shall eat the flesh of his own arm. And normal dying people, because there's going to be, there's going to be the Antichrist, the first seal. The second seal is, well, the first seal is a white horse with a white rider. The second seal is a red, red, red horse, a red rider. And given to him is a great sword and he's he's given power to take peace from the earth and cause men to kill one another so that's not just war that's what i've just said about the towers and um, this is coming it's going to be absolutely horrific so please lay hold of your salvation just just believe in your heart that jesus did that for you on that cross and he rose again from the dead and call upon him, say, come into my life, Lord Jesus, and you'll be saved. And the moment you believe, you're sealed until the day of redemption, when Jesus descends and gathers us up, up into heaven, before the great tribulation apocalypse begins. But there's so much more as well about the zombie apocalypse. Um, I think it's, uh, I'm not sure if it's Revelation I think it's Revelation 2, talking about the, the Jezebel prophet, so-called prophetess. Jesus said, I will kill her children with death. I will kill her children with death. And uh, <clears throat> and um, the fourth, the third rider, the black horse, has got some scales in its hand. That's famine, starvation. The fourth rider's name 
he's a, he's a pale horse and his name is Death. So I don't like to be the one to bring this bad news to the world, but this is what's coming. And I've already told people what the Lord showed me about this country going completely under the sea. I told you the dreams and the visions that the Lord has given me. I mean, I've, I've actually only seen this whole town under the sea. But um, if this whole town is under the sea and it's on the east coast, then you can bet it's the whole country. Probably with... Um, Russian Poseidon nuclear warhead, the drones, missiles from, fired from the submarines. They've already shown us that they can create a tsunami. So that's probably what's coming. And uh, most of you are saved anyway. I, I, well, I'd say most, most of you are saved. You know if you're saved. So look at that up there. But doesn't it look like an upside down cross? Practically. Not that, not that first one. That's like more like a Celtic one, but that one. It's like an upside down cross. Anyway, I just thought I'd come on here and encourage you to stand fast. Don't be moved at all by the, the adverse situations that we're in. Just keep focused on the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember that God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. Um, remember to encourage your brothers, give them a text. You know, text somebody or call somebody, encourage them. I, I get Brother Lee, who I showed, with, the, with Brother Zach, who was blowing the shofar. Hey, Paul. Um, and he, uh, he rings me every day to encourage me. I've got Brother Philip, he's sending me messages. I've got loads, quite a lot of you who've got my number. And you, you send me, and then there's the comments as well, just checking the time. Then there's the comments that they, they encourage me. But I've just been onto, onto your channel who left that comment that Stephen has retired as, as if, that, that's, that's a strange thing to write. So I just went onto your channel and the first video you've got is it of Kate Bush? Well, she's a high-ranking witch, just in case you didn't know. All the celebrities, Madonna, all of them, they're, they're all witches. Beyonce, you name them, they're witches. So, don't listen to that mainstream music, because they're spellbinding, spellcasting upon you without you even realising it. I'm going to have to get off before it's 13 minutes. I'll see you in the clouds.